Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking With Me and welcome to E's Winging It Wednesday. I got tickled the other day because this lady said every time I look at that, it, I think it says E's Swinging It Wednesday. <laughs> I'm not doing too much swinging, that's for sure. I had pulled out some scraps and I thought we would play around with these a little bit today. Now these are pages that I have either been sent or they come out of my digitals and I just haven't used them yet. So I thought we would make some something out of them. I think I'm going to make some pockets. Let's see. I can figure out what I need to do. Well, that would be pretty. So, I think I'm going to turn this over just a little bit on the edge. And I know it's not straight, but it'll be good. And then we'll glue that down. So this is definitely winging it because I have no clue what I want to do. I just pull these out of my stash and thought I would play with these today. So I'm going to fold this one this way, I think. I shouldn't have glued that down. Why did I glue that down? Tell me why. I wanted that to be a full pocket, so don't glue that down. Okay, I think I'll fold it right there. And I'm not measuring or anything. I'm just folding, folding. I am going to glue this side down. Just to give it a little bit of extra strength. Because this is going to be a little side tuck pocket. And things like this are just good to have ready for your journals. When I finished my last journal, I just about used everything up that I had in my stash. So it doesn't take long. Okay, I think I'm going to do it like that. So we'll glue this down. And I said the reason I didn't want that glued down is because I wanted to glue on that and let that be a full pocket. But I didn't. So I'm going to glue across here. Up through there, close to the edge. As close as we can get it with our shaky gluing. And then that will be a pocket. But as you see, if I had left that flap unglued, then I would have a full pocket. As it is, it's going to be a partial one because I'm gonna, I've got that line that I've glued down through there. All right, now this one we do want glued down because this is just for added strength. Now, I want to put a little pull right here. These are very easy to make and they're very useful in your journals because you can either hinge them in or glue them down or just clip them on the page. Okay, now we're going to glue right up through here. And up through here and then press that down okay so we have a little tuck there and then we're gonna have a pocket up here this will hold a tall tag or you could cut them in half if you don't want a tall tag just cut them in half there we go so we have a pocket here and then a side tuck here. Now, I'm not going to do very much to this at all because it's pretty well decorated. This is one of Hello Susan's. I know. I can, I can tell that. So let's see. We may just put a label on there. Not a green one, though. It blends in too much.
put that brown one on there. All right, let's just glue that right there. And I think that's all I'm gonna do to that one. So I've got a pocket and then a large pocket and I can either clip it in to the page or just glue it down on three sides. And then I have a tall pocket in there. So let's just lay that one aside and let's do another. Now this is one of my digitals. So let's see how we want to do it. Now this is actually supposed to go the other direction. Like this is for the tall journal. But I don't think I want it to go that way because it wouldn't be a very wide pocket. So we're going to do it this way, I think. I'm just trying to decide which way. I want to go with it. I think I'll go this way. And that way I'll still have some of my flower showing and my butterfly. I'm going to turn this over a little bit and not glue. I wonder why it's so hard for me to fold a little piece like that. I can fold big pieces. When it comes to a little piece, I have problems. There we go. Pretty good, I guess. Okay, and then we're going to fold this side and we're going to glue it down. And I guess you could just call these tall, skinny pockets, maybe. Okay. Now let's glue that down like that. So I'm going to put my glue across the top. And then across the bottom. Then I'll fold it over and I'll show you the difference in your pocket when you've got that little flap on there. See how my pocket opens up all the way? Because I've got that little flap. And then this one we're going to fold over right there. And I'm going to go ahead and ink it before I glue it down that way. It's a little bit easier. So how are you guys? Are you everybody okay? I've had kind of a blah day today. Just everything seems a blah. There we go. Now, I think I do want something on here. So what do we want to put on here? Got some vellum. Might put that little piece down there. It's just a little scrap of vellum. top and bottom. That's the top. So if I'm extra quiet today, that's, it's just, I'm a little blah. I don't know why. There's no rhyme or reason to my blahness. Okay, and then I want something else on here, like some type of flower or something up through there. Okay, 
Okay, I'm not finding what I want to put on here right yet, so I'm going to lay this aside and we'll come back to it. Sometimes I have to do that. If I can't find what I, what I feel like looks right, then I just have to lay it aside and come back to it later. So I'm going to lay that over there. We'll do another one. Let's do one with this vellum. It's not, not, not going to have to have very much decorating at all. And this is from my kit, Lavender Fields. And I just printed it on vellum. See, I want that flower on the front, I think. Yeah, I think that will look good right there. So we're going to turn over just a little bit of this. And not, don't glue it down. Don't glue it down. Because <laughs> we're going to put that that way and this is going to be our little side tuck pocket. So this one we will glue down. going to use some glue stick on this since this is vellum. You could use Barely Arts. Just don't happen to have that out right this minute. Whoops. I don't think I put enough glue under there. There we go. Sometimes you just have to force it. And then we're going to glue that about right there. So I'm just going to fold that. That will get our bur uh, butterfly and our little decoration there. A little bit of glue across the bottom. And then a little glue up through here. Now you need to press that down really well for a while because sometimes it takes vellum a little while to catch. There we go. And then this one, we're going to fold over. Right there. Yeah, you can still see both of them. I like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and punch my pull. Somebody asked about this punch. This is a one and a half inch circle punch is all it is. And I just don't insert it all the way. I said that doesn't look like a real punch. It is. It's just a circle punch. Okay, then we'll glue this down. And you could leave this up if you wanted to and use it to wrap around, if, but we've done some of those, so I wanted to do some a little bit different. There we go. And then we'll put a little punch at the top. Now, where I punch that one out, I just bring my glue back in there and glue it down. See? Now you've got full pocket, no hindrance on the side, and then you've got a pocket here. Now, keep in mind that your vellum takes a little bit longer to glue. So just lay it, lay something on top of it. 
but that is that one and I don't think it needs anything I'm not gonna put anything on that at all okay I'm gonna do one out of this old vintage letter and this is one that we gave for a freebie not too long ago on our blog and I have I wanted to tell you this I have gone back in and I have shrunk all the files made them smaller because some people were saying that they had problems with their system downloading some of my files so I have gone back in and I have made them smaller so if you want to try to grab them now you shouldn't have any trouble all right we're going to do this one the same way I'll fold it over a little it's just mass making tall pockets I'll go ahead and fold this side all right now this side I'm going to glue down because I'm going to fold from the other side all right we'll fold from this side and let's see about that wide I think so whoops we shall glue down through here and you can make these fold smaller if you want across the bottom and up the side that and then this one will fold over and then we will punch our little pull here And then glue this one down. Now this one is calling for some color, so we're going to need to put some color on it. I got a little pile of scraps here. I think I might go into them and see if I can find something with color. Well, there's me a piece right there. That's actually a tag. I don't think I want to tear it up. Oh, there's a pretty piece. We'll put that on there. And I'm doing some purple now because I have another purple journal that I'm working on. That's why I'm doing a lot of purple. And I think I'll cut that off instead of trying to wrap it around. It's not that much. That's got that. And then I think we need something tall that goes up through there. We could find a flower bird or something. You know what? I might use a piece of my washi. Let's see. Let's cut this one out right here. And this is on sticker paper. I just put my sticker paper in there and printed it like it was. Now that I got it cut out, I don't know. Maybe a little piece right there. We'll just tuck it back up under. 
let's see, I don't want to cover up my date, so I'm going to come this way with it. There we go. That will work there, I guess. I think I might put that little purple flower there. And then I'm thinking about a stamp up here. Got the wrong book. So I think that stamp will work. Or do I want this one that goes this way? These were actually in an old vintage. Oh, I like that one better. Uh, they were in a vintage stamp book. Come from the thrift store. Okay, and I will use my little stamp and uh, do the little cross things on there, hatches or whatever you call them. I'm not going to drag it out right now though. It's the little cancellation marks. I've got a stamp that does that, but it is not on my desk, so we're going to wait. There we go. And then a little piece of washi across the bottom. Do you know what? You really have to turn the camera on for it to work. I'm learning that the hard way. All I did on this one, it's just another piece. I don't think you saw any of this. Is I am just going to fold that around like this. I've already got my little piece here folded. And on the other side, that's all you missed. My head's not in the game today. Okay, let's see if we can fold that pretty straight. And that'll be our side tuck pocket. And I've already glued that little piece down. So there is that one. Let's punch our little pull at the top. Then make sure that we got that glued down, and I think I do. Okay, how do we want to decorate this one? I don't think we want to put any words or anything on there because it's already got a lot of words on it. So we could... Why don't we put that one on there? That's a Tim Holtz flower I've had in my stash for a while. I think I'll put that one on there. Like that. I am going to ink a little bit around it because it's got a little bit of white showing. Then I'm going to tuck that under and just put it as close to this side as I can like that. Okay. So that's got our the bottom and up here what do we want <clears throat> got that laying on my desk we could put that there let's do that it's already laying here and inked and cut and everything let's just use it okay and I really don't think I want to cover any of this up so I'm gonna leave the rest I think I think we'll leave the rest till there is that one. That's how easy they are. And I've got a few more pages here. And I'm going to continue to make more of these. Because I need them for my journals. You can also use little pages like this. I was going to show you. This is just a little piece that I had left over from something. I think something I did yesterday as a matter of fact. So we'll go ahead and fold that just a little bit. Over. Let's go ahead and fold this one over. It'll make a little one, but it'll still work. We'll glue this down. All right, this one, I think I'm going to fold it about right there. That'll be a good size pocket. So if you want to make small ones, you can do that too. Just use those scraps up. Okay. 
There we go. And then this one will have a little small tuck. Like that. Now, if you don't feel like that you can fold straight, which I can't, but you can always just put it in your scoreboard and do it that way. I can't, but I don't worry about it. I just get it as straight as I can and go with it. I'm going to trim a little bit of this top off because it's crooked where I tore it. I'm going to trim it off so that it'll be nice and even there. Okay. Now we can put our glue down through here and here. Alright, there's another. Now I didn't ink that, and I should have, but we're going to leave it. Got a little pull there. And there is another, and I don't think that needs really anything at all. If we do put anything, we might just put a little tiny label. Let's see what we've got here. Let's put that little label across there. I'll have to trim it out the rest of the way. I did put my labels up, but I didn't trim them all. It takes a lot of time to trim all of them. We'll put that right across there. And there's our little label, and there's our little tiny pocket. Alright guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll give these a try. And if you do, make sure that you share them over on our Facebook group. We will talk to you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe because we have a large, large giveaway coming up very soon. As soon as we reach 100,000 subscribers. We will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.